Hi there, it's Ms. Bourne. I'm going to give you a quick overview of Blackboard, sort of a Blackboard orientation. So you've managed to log in and find this video, so good job. So whenever you log into your class, the first thing that you will see um, is you'll be on this Start Here page. See, it says Start Here up at the top, and there'll be some sort of picture or video maybe introducing you to the course. So if you want to get started with your lessons, you just look over here on the left-hand menu, all the way on the left part of your screen, and you'll see where it says Course Content. Now, this left-hand menu is where you need to go basically for everything. So I'm going to show you a couple of different um, course designs. So over here, you'll find a homepage start here, a quick way to email your instructor, um, the syllabus, which of course gives you a lot of important information about your course, including if there's a textbook that's required and a place where you can go check your grades under My Grades. And then next you'll see course content, and it will either say units or maybe chapters or lessons. It doesn't really matter. If you click on the one that says All, it'll take you to a page where you can literally see them all. And as you scroll down, you'll see the names and maybe an outline or something of the different units. Now, this particular course is designed in, in what we call a module um, format. And basically, these um, little icons out to where it says Unit 0 and Unit 1, there's a little picture of a, a what looks like a binder. So that means that within each of those units, and I'll click on one so you can see, um, there are page numbers. So if you look at the top right of this box here, it says page one of 145. So you click the little arrow to go to the next page. So as you work through a course that's designed like this, you'll click on um, each page and read. It'll give you some information. There might be a video to watch, maybe a lesson to do. Sometimes you'll have a few blank ones. That's okay. You just keep clicking. Um, you'll see some instructions. This particular course has a good vocabulary list, so you know that those are going to be the important words for you to know. Um, in this particular unit, you might want to jot those down, keep some paper handy and jot that down and so forth. Sometimes it'll open up a different page or maybe download something. Um, so this particular course just downloaded something for me to read. Um, and to get back to where you were, you just go back to that tab and this is what it downloaded. So a lot of times it'll download something, but then it'll also show it to you. And you can see a little outline of what you're doing over here on the side. So so that's one particular setup um, of a course that these courses are in these nice little modules with these page numbers at the top. So going back to our left-hand menu, you can go directly to a unit if you want to without having to scroll through all those pages. You can do the same thing over here on this little outline menu. You can just click on something in particular and it'll take you to it. This one just happened to be a video. Um, so if you wait just a second, then the video will pop up and you can click play and you can watch the video. Now let's jump into another course that's set up similar but a little bit different. So this course, as you will see, I'm logged in. I just logged in as a student. It took me to the Start Here page just like they all do. I have my left-hand menu over here, which of course is very important. I have all units and all the different units and the proctored exams and everything appears to be the same. But when I click all units and I scroll down and I look at unit zero, um, the project unit one, again, it kind of looks similar, but then I notice the difference. This little picture out here by where it says unit zero and unit one and so forth, the picture looks like a picture of a file folder and not a binder as it did in the other course. So what this means is that this course is not going to have page numbers. So let me click on a unit and show you. So when you click on the unit, before over here on the right, above this little um, banner picture, we had page one of however many and something to click on so that we could go to the next page. But this course does not have page numbers. Everything is located in folders. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me alter my screen um, so that you can see it. See these folders down here? 
Yeah, so as I scroll down, I see a folder called Read the Unit, a folder called Complete the Activities, and a folder called Take the Unit Quiz. So in this particular course, that's what I want to do is do each one of these folders in order and then go back to my left-hand menu and go to the next unit. So this unit is Unit 1. It tells me that at the top of the page. So once I do all of the folders here, then I need to go to Unit 2 and then proceed doing the same thing all of the folders that are located here. So this is a folder set up. Some of our courses are set up that way, and some of them are set up with the binders and um, the page numbers. So I just wanted to give you a quick look around the, around the courses in Blackboard, and, and I thank you for watching. It's just that simple.